Greetings and welcome to my channel. My name is Abagnatius and let's watch me play some Captain of Industry. Uh, today there is the um, power plant. I Let me pause this real quick. As you can see, I'm still making power with these small diesel generators, which are, as you can see up here, uh, well, um, well enough for my uh, for my power needs, I can make 9.6 megawatts per hour, I believe that is, um, at max, and I'm only using 4.22, so about half. But I want to um, <coughs> I want to move away from diesel, uh, not because I have too little oil here. I made sure when I made this map, which by the way is available on. Um, um, there is a place where you uh, mod, mod something, uh, Captain Koi mod something, something or other, uh, where, you can <laughs> where you can download maps and all the maps I've made are there. Uh, yes, when I made this map I made sure that there is enough oil, but uh, this by the way was an artifact of the video, not of the game. Um, I just uh, want to make sure that I make the power also in accordance with uh, with the tutorial here. It also kind of makes sense to move away from diesel power. Um, not because it would be cleaner. I think that burning diesel is actually cleaner than burning coal. But on the other hand, making diesel uh, is not exactly clean. And uh, yeah, I think this might actually still be cleaner with good uh, with good um, good exhaust scrubbers. This should actually be cleaner than go than uh, using diesel. If you take into uh, account the making of the diesel, here I was uh, first intending to make just three burners because uh, three boilers because really I don't need more. But then I decided. Um, Let's make four, five. And here, of course, I need, I have two inputs, which is coal and water. So I had to move this, um, the conveyor. Uh, let me rehydrate re real quick. Here once again we can see what I did with water on this map. Two big splotches of water on each end and in the middle there is a bit uh, which is dry. The idea being that here within those splotches uh, I don't have to make a big and fancy water system. I, I can just get the water out of the ground as needed. Also never forget that these groundwater reserves will refill whenever it rains. So in essence they are a big oversized um, rainwater collectors. Okay, that would be the water connection to the boilers. Which of course, uh, like in the very own set of the steam age, uh, take a fuel, take water and turn that water by way of heat or boiling into steam. That steam will then get turned into power, um, exactly like um, it has been done for a long time. Um, I wanted to say centuries, but that would, I think, be a bit, bit optimistic. At least a century. At least 2024. One and a half centuries or so. Time runs. S -s 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 
but the principle is still the same. You take water, you boil water and you use that as your main energy um, source. Or you use that boiled water to turn um, <coughs> into secondary energy, such as electrical power. But the initial, um, the initial step, exactly like nuclear power plants for that matter, is still the same. You boil water. Every time I think about that, that really fascinates me. Okay, here is the out, um, the outlet of the steam. Yep, took me a second to understand. Sorry for that. Whoa, that yarn came out of nowhere. To understand that, um, of course, if you build a uh, if you build uh, a uh, pipe or um, or a conveyor on top of another, it will use the same uh, supports. Okay. Now, when will I realize that I've forgotten to attach almost all of the boilers? Yet, not yet, but I will. Let's. Uh, I will. I think fairly soon, if I recall correctly. Okay. Also, I've forgotten to attach. Um, to attach coal. Here, I understood uh, that I forgot to attach the boilers to the out to the to the to the outlet line. I have not yet understood that I forgot to attach the coal. Um, yes, water is coming in. I think I'm waiting here to see uh, to see steam being made. Wonderful. We have flow. We have flow of steam. And of course, this pipe is not yet being used. Ah, here I understood the mistake with coal. Uh, let me speed this up a little bit. Perfection, coal is coming in, and at the same time I started to make the um, um, to make the power plant itself. In case you just heard a crash, uh, that was my chair not crashing, but uh, making sounds to let me know that I should lose a little bit of weight. Here I was debating how how to design this. How do I make this? How to build this? Ideally, everything in a line, of course. And I ended up with this uh, setup, which I was going to correct again a little bit later. But you will see because I will look at the um, at the info info panels of all of these things. <coughs> and then I will understand how exactly they work. Okay, this is to get the low power steam um, back up, back out into the atmosphere because I have no use for it at this point in time. 
and so far this looks good so all I need to do is to attach it to steam boom and now I need to get this bit Okay. <coughs> oh, I see these storages of construction parts and so how little they are. <laughs> because in the meantime I've uh, made them a little bit bigger. Uh, okay. Uh, Everything is being delivered here. Okay, and power is being made. The inertial batteries are turning. Steam is coming in and power is being made. Yes, we've got enough steam. But we also, as we can see here, um, have the have the diesel still working. Why was that? That was the question in my mind. If I click it, if I click on it again, I will show you because it's obviously working but the diesels are also still working also as we can see uh, we have a max of 17.6 megawatts and we are using a little bit less than 4 which means that at this point the diesels are not working as they should and here is the thing we have here um, an input of 4 steam that makes 6 megawatts worth of uh, mechanical energy plus four, l uh, four low steams. At first I thought that's six megawatts, that's cool. But here we can see the issue. These things convert three megawatts of mechanical energy into two megawatts of electrical energy. So these six megawatts, which I think I'm looking at here and I'm understanding, 6 megawatts of this thing um, become 4 megawatts of electrical power. And right now I need one more, which means that the steam generator, uh, that the uh, diesel generator is running. <coughs> These uh, do not have any max, uh, I mean any, these just store, I believe, excess energy from this system. So these make power and any excess that's not needed is being stored out here in these uh, mechanical, in these flywheels, which are essentially just mechanical batteries. And if needed, uh, they will contribute um, some power. I don't exactly know how much. a max of 72 megawatts it seems probably until this red line which we see and here I understood um, 4 plus 1 that doesn't that doesn't uh, that doesn't add up because one of these makes enough mechanical power to feed two or two for two of these uh, wheels to turn into electrical power I hope this sense made more sense in reality than it just did in my head <laughs> But, <laughs> but as a consequence, uh, as you see, I have removed most of this. 
And I'm going to rebuild it and this is now be below the red line which means that um, this uh, uh, is no longer feeding energy into the system I believe. It's just running out now. So I'm going to uh, rebuild this but as we can see ideally the right way around. Little bit smaller. That's one, uh, one turbine, two generators, and two flywheels. That's one segment of power plant. Plus, of course, the steam line. And the um, uh, low pressure exhaust line. this up a little bit. And now everything's running perfectly. And I can now just copy paste this whole setup uh, to add a second a segment a second um, power plant segment. And this I can continue at will into all eternity. And now, uh, once this is built, I'm going to have the ability to make 8 meg megawatts of power, of electrical power, um, through steam. Through coal produced steam, but there will be other ways to make steam in the future. Then these will become a lot, a lot cleaner. And uh, what I didn't really understand about do now and will I think during this video too is that these all add up. That's four, um, four flywheel batteries um, adding up to 2055 megawatt seconds of power. Because they're all on the same, uh, on the same shaft. And these uh, fragments you just saw were from the videos, not the game. Also, this is now gone back up to 17.6 megawatts, and 8 of which I am making right here. We can see that we are making much more power than we need, and that means that the flower batteries are being charged. In this circumstance, that means that the flowers are getting, uh, getting faster. And they are storing mechanical energy. Um, which then can be stored, which then can be turned back into electrical energy. Wonderful. And this is a perfect uh, spot to end this video. And thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and all the drill if you so choose. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.